Okay, I've made a video before about this. So your tire keeps going low for some reason. It doesn't. It's not holding air. Um, if you take the valve uh, stem cap off, and you take a little bit of soapy water, and you put it over the valve uh, cap here, uh, you can just take a little bit of spit and put it on there. And if it starts to bubble, then you know this valve core is leaking. And also you can spray, take a bottle of soapy water and spray around the valve core itself a little bit. Don't move it too much, but a little bit. And you can spray around the rim to see if you see any bubbles and you can figure out where it's leaking. In this case, it took me a while to figure it out, but I finally stopped at this point and then I saw this nail in here. So what we're going to do is... We're going to pull this nail out, and I'm going to show you how to use a, a plug to stick in there to repair that. And here are some things you might need for the job. I picked up this, uh, it's a set, it's a complete set. It's basically the reamer, the glue, pliers to pull the uh, nail out, and then the plugs. And then this is the inserter, where you insert the plugs in. Now you don't have to, but you can put it up on a jack like, like I've done, so you can adjust the wheel to where you want it. And uh, so first thing we need to do is, ideally you'd want to clean the area a little bit, but you don't necessarily have to because the reamer, and you can use a small drill to go in there and ream it out, but we're going to do this fast so we don't lose a lot of air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to get the plug insertion ready. I'm going to goop the, uh, the plug and then go from there. And by the way, I did get this uh, set at Ross. It was only $4.99, which is a pretty good deal. Um, I like the Ross store. I don't go in there very often, but I happen to be in there. And uh, this is uh, what I got. They, they actually had other kinds, a smaller version. You don't need all this. All you really need is the inserter and the plug. And I've done it that way before. But I like to put the goop on it just to make it seal a little extra. Okay, I've got the, uh, the plug on the uh, inserter. I put the goop on it. And I'm going to pull it out real quick and kind of show you how I do this. Basically, you want to grab something. You can pull these out with... <coughs> That's it. I see it wasn't too big. And then we just insert it. And actually, blow it tire. It's good lord. Not a big hole, but it's big enough. They get it in about that far, and then sort of gently pull it out so we can cut it off. So that's basically it. You can see there's a little split here so that it comes out. And so that's basically it right there. And then what we could do is actually, you want to take like a a razor blade cut off the excess but uh, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I start cutting it off and this knife is not the sharpest knife so I'm just gonna let that dry and uh, so that's your quick fix tire fix quick tire fix with the Ross 14 piece tire repair kit so there's the instructions uh, they're, they're asking you to ream it out with this, um, but I, I don't ream it out, uh, and I've had success for it with it. I mean, if it's a gnarly old cut, you might want to ream it out if you got dirt in it or something. But, uh, okay, so you saw how hard I had to push that in. It was actually just a small screw. This was actually my fault because 
Um, this is an, an appliance screw. It got left in the yard here or something. Picked it up. And uh, it didn't go in very far. And you saw how hard I had to push that thing in, right? And actually it got bent a little bit on the end. So you got to be careful because if it's not very, if it's not all the way through, then you don't need to mess with it. If it starts leaking air when you pull it out, you know it's all the way through. This one was like only maybe a small percent through the belt and leaking. And I had to push it in really hard. At one time, I actually broke one of these pushing it in. So you got to be real, really careful uh, to judge whether, you know, the strength that you use to push it in. Uh, so there's involves a little bit of thought process here. And then when you're done with your kit, you want to basically put it in a sealed bag because this stuff here dries up fairly soon. Uh, within three months or so, that will automatically dry up just because it's such a solvent. It's, it's made to react with rubber. And so probably uh, keep this in a sealed com uh, container. These rubber things as well, the rubber plugs, keep them in a sealed container. Generally, I don't ream it out, um, just because uh, logically I don't want to make it any uh, bigger than we have to. But uh, they say you should ream it out to keep it to have it clean. So that's you know that's their explanation. So thanks again for watching, guys. Stay safe.